We have some very tough news in today's entertainment city. Gord Downey, the lead singer of the iconic Canadian rock band, The Tragically Hip, has been diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. And that's where the heart has stuck me. The band broke the news on their website, revealing Downey has been battling cancer since December. The statement says the 52-year-old, who has four children, has endured a lot of difficult times, and he's been fighting hard. The band will be going on one last tour, explaining, quote, this feels like the right thing to do now for Gord and for all of us. The band will be releasing tour details later this week. The iconic Canadian rockers have been together for about three decades, winning 14 Juno Awards. The show must go on, and go on it did, with Celine Dion's show-stopping performance at the Billboard Music Awards this weekend. The Quebec Chanteuse made her return to the spotlight for the first time since losing both her husband, René Angeli, and her brother in the same week earlier this year. There was not a dry eye in the house after her cover of Queen's The Show Must Go On. And Dion herself broke down in tears after her son, René Charles, surprised her on stage to present her with the Billboard Icon Award. The night's other emotional moment came courtesy of Kesha, who performed a stripped-down cover of Bob Dylan's It Ain't Me, Babe. But it, ain't me, babe. it was a moment that almost didn't happen. As we reported, the performance was initially nixed by her record label, which is owned by Kesha's former mentor, Dr. Luke, whom she's accused of drugging and sexually and verbally assaulting her. The night's other most talked-about performance belonged to Madonna, who turned the T-Mobile arena purple as she paid tribute to Prince with the help of Stevie Wonder. Purple Madonna is now defending herself after facing an onslaught of criticism from many who felt she wasn't the right person for the job and didn't deliver. Madge hit back at haters on Instagram writing, quote, anyone who wants to do a tribute to Prince is welcome to, whatever your age, gender, or skin color. Is it too late now to say sorry? Meanwhile, Justin Bieber's performance is being described by some as rather lackluster. The Beebs himself offered up what might be considered an explanation for it in what's become his typical outlet, the lengthy Instagram rant. Bieber wrote in part, I don't feel good when I'm there, nor after. These award shows seem so hollow. When I look at the audience, I see a bunch of fake smiles. Bieber was named the top male artist by Billboard, but it was fellow Canuck The Weeknd who cleaned house when it came to the awards. He scored eight honors, the most BBMAs for a male artist in the last decade. And Drake was named top rap artist, but skipped the BBMAs for a couple good rounds of Top Golf before heading to the six to be courtside for this. The Toronto Raptors take game four. They're not going anywhere. The Toronto Raptors clawing their way to victory over Cleveland with a nail-biting game, tying up the series, thanks in a big way to Kyle Lowry's sharpshooting. Game five is tomorrow back in Cleveland, and for anyone soaking up the sun at the cottage or away on summer vacay, never fear, you can watch the game from anywhere on Sportsnet Now. Xavier Dolan making a triumphant return home after being awarded the Grand Prix at the closing ceremony for the 69th Cannes Film Festival this weekend. Dolan received the prize from his fellow Canuck, jury member Donald Sutherland. The honor comes even after some very mixed reviews of Dolan's film, It's Only the End of the World. As always, you can get your entertainment news here first in the morning and anytime on Twitter at NCity.